HVAC horror story we've been telling you about just spread to the kitchen. For the past month, 10 on your side's Chris Horm has been reporting on an HVAC contractor that took $10,000 from a Virginia Beach couple, but the work was never done right. Since then, the contractor vowed to refund their money. Well, now we are learning that his company's work can also be found in a not quite remodeled Portsmouth kitchen. Chris, here the issue is really the lack of work done. Yeah, lack of work, same company, HCEC Group, same contractor who owns it, Antoine Chapman. I was surprised on this one to see that the case involves remodeling work because the company's license is for heating and cooling. Well, state regulators tell me that license does not cover kitchen remodeling. In the meantime, a young Navy couple and their roommate want to get their kitchen completed after paying HCEC $5,000 up front. We're looking at our almost complete kitchen that we've had to contract out by other people. So the cabinets are coming from a different company, and then um, we did the floors ourselves and the painting. Jessica Matney and her husband paid $5,000 to HCEC Group to renovate their kitchen, and that was back in February. So it's been months and nothing has happened. No phone calls, nothing. The couple lives in this Portsmouth ranch with their roommate, Noah Heaton. They say workers showed up three times and did about seven hours of tear out work. What they were supposed to do was um, our kitchen renovation. So they were supposed to start with the demolition and then continue in with their renovation, adding in the cabinets, uh, installing our new appliances. But for Matney, her family and their roommate, it's meant more than inconvenience. For her one year old son, Grayson, it's meant danger. They left tack strips out on the floor and there were staples. So we had to go in and try and pull each individual staple in order for our son not to step on him. His feet would bleed and had little stabs in them. You'd get him stuck in there and pull him out. Also, uh, some of the tacks were rusted, so we have to worry about tetanus shots. For months, they went without a stove, so they had to rely on a grill or the microwave. Personally, that's not the diet I want my one year old child on because microwave food's not good for you. Heaton says they've made more than 50 calls over several months, and at one point, an HCEC subcontractor got cold feet when he showed up. When we got to the door, he's backing out, leaving. So we contacted him, and his excuse that day was his girlfriend was having a panic attack. It's the same company we've reported on involving a Virginia Beach couple. They paid HCEC and owner Antoine Chapman $10,000 for an HVAC system that doesn't work properly. When Matney and Heaton saw those stories, they realized they were dealing with the same company. It sucks for everyone that it's happening to because it's our livelihoods that they're messing with. And the company owner, Antoine Chapman, told me the Portsmouth customer canceled the contract, but the customer says that never happened. And he now tells me he has taken out a business loan and will refund their money and the Virginia Beach couple's money by the end of this month. But Chapman had previously said He'd remove the Virginia Beach equipment and make that refund by the end of this week. We'll keep you posted. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.